first requested me by Ghetto R N Y C and directed by Alex Proyas, Dark City is a 1998 sci-fi thriller film that takes place in a strange city, a dark city where it's always nighttime. Below the city, there's a mysterious shadow group that pulls the strings and uses their powers that can put humans to sleep so they can do their bidding. This mysterious group is after a man named John Murdoch, who awakens with no memory of who he is or what's going on around him. As John attempts to figure out what's going on with the mysterious strangers as they call them, they begin looking for him and secretly pulling the strings of every citizen in the city. All right, so once again, we have another request that I knew basically nothing about. I do remember Ghetto War NYC saying that it's an underrated sci-fi film, and that's basically all I knew about it going in. So I went in completely blind for the most part. And ultimately, my reaction is not that it's an underrated film, it's actually kind of overrated to me. I enjoyed parts of it, but as a whole, I found it to be pretty campy if I'm being honest. I found it to be campy because everything feels very exaggerated, I'd say. A lot of the performances lack subtlety and nuance. The strangers themselves, who are the bad guys of the film, are very over-the-top eccentric bad guys, and the visuals as a whole just don't work all that well for a 98 film. And I'm sure there's plenty out there who are obviously going to disagree with me on this one because the film seems to have sort of a cult following behind it, but I just found the premise to be great, but the execution only decent at best. And the first thing I mentioned was the performances. Now there are some performances here that work well. Jennifer Connelly is very good in limited screen time, and so is William Hurt in limited screen time. But the main character is really John Murdoch, played by Rufus Sewell, and I just couldn't get very connected to him. I found his performance to be fairly uninspiring, and the character himself to just not be all that interesting. And it's very tough to overcome a leading actor and character that just doesn't move you. And I think when the other surrounding parts aren't exceptional themselves, it's not a great recipe for success. In terms of the campiness though, I think it only feels that way because of the poor execution, because there's been plenty of other films that have as crazier or maybe crazier plots that we all love, like Independence Day or even The Matrix, which is supposedly inspired by this film. But what those films do that Dark City doesn't do is they know how to play to their strengths. And they tell a story that's not only unique, but also one that's technically immersive and doesn't feel silly too often. There are moments in Dark City where I was, like I said, really into it. And there's plenty of others where I just was laughing at how silly everything that was happening on screen was. I mean, some of the stuff in this movie is just so odd and silly looking that it's just not the type of film I consider a classic must watch. Not because of the premise, like I said, but because of the execution. But like I mentioned, a big problem here is some of the performances. Because I think every stranger that came on screen was more laughable than scary. They all walk around in these black trench coats with these pale complexions, and then other times they're in their dominion and they have these weird robes on under this blue lighting that's supposed to be all dramatic, and it just looks silly and contrived and campy, like I mentioned. It looks like something you see out of like Event Horizon or something. And in addition to that, there's a doctor played by Kiefer Sutherland in this film, and I have no idea what he was doing. I mean, the character is maybe one of the worst I've seen from a 90s film ever, because he speaks with this weird breathing and these weird pauses, and he feels like he belongs in like a kid's cartoon or something. It's just a very over-the-top performance, and I'm really just not sure whether he was directed to act that way or was by his choice, but man, it was just really an immersion killer, just a super offbeat performance. Also, like I mentioned, the visuals, they just don't hold up very well. There's some shots that I really can't get into now because I spoiled the movie for you and I don't wanna do that, but the occur near the tail end of the film when you start to figure out kind of what's going on, and it just looks kind of bad, honestly. I mean, it's always tough when you're analyzing CG work from 20 years ago, but there certainly are films from around that time that did visuals just a lot better overall, like The Matrix, like I mentioned, Terminator 2, like I always mentioned, Lord of the Rings, even three years later. There are films around 98 that hold up way better than Dark City does. Dark City struggles visually because while the premise, the main plot, and the direction of the story is cool, it just doesn't look all that good. It's not edited well either, and as a whole, it's just not executed very well. However, this isn't to say it's all bad. There are some things I liked about it. I already mentioned how I thought Jennifer Connelly and William Hurt were both good. I mentioned how I think the premise is very cool and it had me trying to solve the mystery early and often. And I actually liked how the film ends as well. There's a lot of ambiguity present, I'd say, for the majority of the movie. And it's not until real late when the characters just really truly understand the scope of the problem they're dealing with. And I liked how Dark City made me think, sort of like The Matrix in that way. And I liked how despite the fact that I wasn't truly connected to the characters, I did find myself thinking about the meaning and the purpose behind the story when it all ended. This is certainly a movie that gives you interesting things to think about regarding consciousness, human nature, memories, and other more spoilery topics that, like I said, I won't go into. But overall, do I think Dark City is a great film? No, but it's not an awful one either. I think it's a pretty mad movie experience that suffers from poor execution mostly. As for the pros and cons, I thought Dark City had some nice supporting performances, a very strong ending, and lots of thought-provoking ideas and themes. As for the cons, the film had a weak lead, some really over-the-top acting, lots of subpar CGI and editing, and an often very campy story. 
I'm gonna give Dark City a 5.5 out of 10 and recommend you pass on this one unless you're a real big fan of old school sci-fi. There's some things to like here for more hardcore sci-fi fans and I'm not ruling out the possibility you'll enjoy it. So have you guys seen Dark City before? What did you think of it? And if not, let me know why not. And also let me know your favorite 90s sci-fi film. And one last thing I wanna let you guys know is that A Quiet Place and Blockers comes out this weekend, but my reviews are gonna be a little bit delayed. I'm taking a family trip this weekend, a necessary family trip, so we're doing that and I'm gonna be a little bit behind in those reviews, but I will get those out to you uh, sometime maybe late this week or early next week. But either way, this is Wolf Foxification signing off. See you in the next video.